Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you look over here, this side of the camera there, or the, the TV screen, thing has got a really cool stainless grill shell in it. Custom grill. We're gonna put it on in this video. And it's, uh, it's pretty awesome, and it's the first one in the country. So, I don't Very know. excited. Yeah, it, it's awesome. Follow along, it's gonna be a fun video. Um, why, why, why are you taking, why are you cutting out a brand new grill? There's nothing wrong with this grill. Uh, we need something to do, so. Just taking it out? Yeah. Oh, okay. We got something new though on the table. We do? Yeah. Hang on, what do we got over here? Oh, check that out. This, this is gonna be pretty fun. So we've got a grill, a ring, and a stainless grill surround for a 589. So uh, 12 gauge just sent us this thing. And uh, as far as I know, this is the first one. So pretty neat deal. And uh, Shock's been there cutting hucks out. I'm gonna hold the screwdriver so he doesn't go flying and he's gonna cut this last one and we're gonna take this grill shell out of here. After Shock takes his phone call. <laughs> I declined it. All right, let's go. There she is. Loose. Are you ready? Yeah. I got the front. All right, so grill surrounds out. And uh, here's what we got going on. So we got this pretty awesome grill. So we've got a backing plate over here for it. So we can actually, we're gonna paint the backside of that blue, match the truck, I think. Blue or black, I don't know yet. Um, and then this new stainless grill surround. So there, there's a big difference in this surround than you would have a 3D9. 3D9 is not gonna come out with this angle this direction. It's gonna be more straight down. Um, and then, you know, obviously you've got all four pieces for your grill surround, which we'll start bolting in and then replacing those with hucks as we're going. And uh, things should look pretty freaking cool when it's done. We've never done a, a Again, I don't think there's a, I don't know there's any more of these. This may be the first one that they've done. So, uh, closing the hood up. Yeah. All right. So now what we're gonna do is uh, start seeing if we can get this grill crown, how it fits and everything else. She looks a bit weird without the, um, anything there. definitely different but we've gotten some more stuff on the truck so we got the breather lights done we got nine lights on the roof um, we did the legendary clear amber glass lenses up there and they look pretty sharp um, we've already got our cab panels on the cab side over there so um, kind of making some decent progress here and uh, working on fuel tanks, moving fuel tanks and stuff on this on this job. But I guess now we're just gonna see if we can get this uh, see if we can get this thing in there. We've got our lower piece bolted to our grill and we've got our trim ring around here so we got all this bolted in so that way we can take 
this deal, set it up here, and then start putting our bolts in the grill, which is gonna be a little bit fun shock with just two people. This is easier on it with a third yeah, for holding the grill in place and then putting the nuts on the and whatnot. But I mean we can do it. We can do it. Yeah. Let's get this blanket. So anyway, we're gonna flip this hood up, rock, paper, scissors for who's laying on the ground and who's uh tightening up nuts. <laughs> rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. What was that? You went to lizard. lizard? Yeah. I've never heard of lizard. I lost. Scissors, cut lizard. Oh, okay. Cut a lizard. Got it. All right. So we're going to flip this up. <laughs> Put the grill in. Okay, so the whole deal is in. It's just loosely bolted, so we haven't tightened any of the bolts up. When you're putting one of these grills in, it's like we found the best way is literally put most of your bolts in place. Don't over tighten them. Don't really tighten them up real hard at all. Just snug. Get everything together, and then as you start tightening, uh, other parts and pieces will kind of start to come together, and it'll fit itself really well. So. You'll see right now there's a little gap here, a little bit of a gap there. That'll tighten up after we get the headlights on here. And then once you get the headlights in, it actually sucks the side of the grill surround or the, the grill shell this way. Um, and once all that starts to happen, as you come up here, it will, it will start to line this hole up better this direction. Um, and so you kind of, we've done a bunch of these grills. This is obviously the first one we've ever done on a 589. Um, but we found that is the absolute must on doing these. We've tried it 20 other different ways and they don't work good. This works the best. Um, but Hey, look, this is the first 589 stainless grill surround and it fit exceptionally well. I mean, it really, it really was, it was really nice. I mean, it wasn't, it didn't fight us at all. So, uh, pretty pretty ecstatic about that it uh it looks awesome especially once everything's said and done because again we've got our little piece in here so that you'll see the relentless logo and the pdi logo i think that's probably going to go blue um pretty freaking sharp looking we're also going to end up kind of now that we're looking at this the front fender braces we'll get all this mocked up and bolt it all together make sure everything's happy get all this as tight as we can get it um, and then we'll take the headlights and the fender braces back off and they're going to go get chromed because the chrome finish matches the stainless way better than the polished aluminum ever will. Um, but we'll get all this where it goes, make sure this is all hundred percent happy and that we don't have to modify anything else. Send that to S and H chrome, probably paint the back of the headlight buckets black and, uh, this thing's going to be pretty slick. All right, so we are done with the front end of this truck and uh, looks pretty dang awesome. Got our 12 gauge stainless 20 inch blind mount bumper on there now too to go with this grill. So I think we've mentioned it in earlier, but this piece back here is gonna go blue like the frame. Um, overall, let's just talk a little bit about the install on this grill surround from 12 gauge it was um it was really straightforward yeah fairly simple it's uh put all the bolts in leave them loose get everything in place yep all the bolt holes lined up set to do a little trimming on the front fender braces so what he's talking about on the fender braces is right here once we got all this done 
um, it, it had a little bit of a gap here that it's probably okay for some people to a certain degree, but we really wanted it to look perfect and shock, uh, shock made it look perfect. It looks awesome. So now that this is done, we're going to take these back off. Uh, the fender braces are going to get chromed. The front part of this headlight is going to get chromed. The back half of the headlight is going to get painted black. Um, and it, the biggest thing for the chrome deal is a, you don't have to polish it and the shine of the chrome matches better with the shine, like in the coloring of stainless. Um, it'll just look hundred percent awesome at that point. Um, Another big thing with the design on this grill, I'm gonna get the stainless, this thing like reflects the whole shop because it's just that nice. But anyway, uh, kind of explained this grill does change the look of the truck dramatically, not because it's stainless, but because also the shape in which the grill is now. So if you'll notice with this one, we come up here, we go across, everything's nice and straight. And so you've got a lot more, your, your grill is a lot more square looking. And I'll walk over here real quick and I'll show you what the factory grill shell looks like on a 589 for reference. So you can kind of see the difference with it. Okay, and so on the factory 589 grill surround, you'll notice this right here has a radius to it kind of just comes up a little bit ever so slightly in the center and comes back down the sides and your corners are rounded um, it's a it's a pretty big difference in how all that goes I mean essentially now ours kind of goes straight across and you can even see how we've got a custom grill in here but you can see how the grill fits in there how your how your lines do so now with the stainless grill surround it is a uh, more symmetrical I guess is the best way to put it, but that'll give you an idea of the difference in the grill surround and grill shape between the two. But leave a comment down there. Which one do you like better? Do you like the stainless um, surround and the uh, more uniform straight lines in the grill? Or do you prefer the factory grill surround? One thing I will say, this grill surround pretty much isn't going to require polishing um, nearly as much as you'd ever have to on an aluminum one. And uh, that in my book is reason enough to do it just because my favorite thing in the world is not polishing. That's why we hired Peter at Almost Chrome to come do everything. It's kind of crazy. This is the first, this is the first single axle we've had here, isn't it? Yeah. We've never had one. And every time we look at it, we're just like, it's missing an axle, but it's going to be hauling a horse trailer. So it didn't, doesn't need to be like a full blown semi, I guess. Um, also we removed the red out of the emblems. Kind of going with all the chrome on it. Looks good. Got our nine lights. So, um, basically visors fitted for this truck, everything else we'll go back here. Um, we got our fuel tanks back, so they're ready to go back on now. Um, but they're getting painted, so there's not really any point in putting fuel tanks on there and everything else because we're just literally going to take it over the other side of the building for paint work. But we're painting the whole chassis on this now. Um, it's going to get half fenders and a rear T-bar that's painted with a stainless insert and some watermelon lights in it. And then we've got our... Um, we're going to add two more lights at the back of the sleeper on this one, too. Which is pretty cool. All right, guys. That's it for this video. Stainless uh, grill surround from 12 gauge. Two thumbs up. I can't do it because I'm holding this. But if I could, two thumbs up. Wait. Shock. Can I get some thumbs? Two thumbs up. So, uh. If you guys ever want to order that, you can actually call us at the Chrome Shop. We can get that on order shipped out to you. Um, you can do this with grill bars. You can do a custom logo in it. You can do seven, nine, 13 grill bars, whatever you want. Um, I can't say enough about it. It works awesome. It's, uh, 
wasn't hard to install whatsoever, fit perfect. So it's coming together. It's gonna be a really cool truck. Make sure you guys are doing all the things. Like, subscribe, follow us on Instagram at Semi Casual Show. Follow us on TikTok at Semi Casual Show. Go to our website, semicasualshow.com. Um, if you go there, most every single part that we're putting on a 589, or if even it's a 389, you can buy them on our website. So uh, go check that out. And otherwise, we'll see you guys in the next video. Later.